Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show my workflow to get these kind of results in D4. I know it took me forever, but here it is. Let's open up Stable Diffusion now. For this tutorial, I wanted to use a sword fight video, so I decided to take a clip from this movie. Looking at the clip, I kind of want to transform him into Kamen Rider. Let's go to D forum. I have a settings file which I load for every video. So let me load it up. This basically has all the settings that I discussed in the previous video. All I have to do is change the video in it and mess around with control net. And of course, change the prompts. I usually generate the videos at 1024 and 576. Okay, so we need to copy the path of the video now. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't know, you can leave the rebel codes in the video path now. Now we have tile and head control nets enabled. Let's go to the prompt and change it up. Like I said, I wanted to transform it into Cayman Rider. Let's change the batch name. Now I'm gonna hit generate and let's see the result. So we have our first output image here. Well, it doesn't look like Cayman Rider. And there are no planets behind him. He's not on a planet. Well, this is because you are using tile control net. Tile control net helps in consistency of the animation, but then it tries to keep the output similar to input. And that's why you can't see much change when you write simple prompts like this. How do I get these videos then? Well, I use a lot of LoRa's. If you want results like these with a lot of changes, you need to use LoRa's in your videos. You should keep an eye on the newly released LoRa's. They just keep coming out every day. I use a lot of LoRa's in my videos. So that's why you're not able to get results you're looking for with Tile Control Net. Now I'll show you what I do to get the results. Let me copy this prompt first. I like to test the prompt in text image before I go to D4. I have downloaded this Cayman Rider LoRa, which is pretty close to what I want. These are the preview images of LoRa. Now I will load it up in stable diffusion. Well, the image looks really good. Now the next thing I do is take this prompt into image to image and then go to the output folder. So as you can see, we have the input frames over here. So you can load one of the input frame here. Just change the settings exactly as they are in D4. Change the denoise to 1, CFG to 3. Then enable the tile control right here. Wait to 2. Now, in this video, I am trying to change the character. So, I will be using open pose, open pose control net. Alright, now the prompt is exactly same. I just added the LoRa and its trigger word. Let's see how it affects the image. It is much different than the input video after just adding one LoRa. But it still doesn't look good. Now in this case, what I like to do is increasing the starting control step of tile control net to something like 0 0.25. What this means is the tile control net is not applied for the first 25% of video. It only applies to the 75%. For the first 25% of every frame, Stable Diffusion has full creative control. So let's see how this looks. It's alright, not the best for sure. I will increase the starting control step even more. After a lot of testing, I kind of like what I have here. So this is what I mean by using multiple LoRa's. 
Now let me show you what happens when you add another LoRa to this. I think I'll try this LoRa. Well, that didn't go as planned. Some LoRa's do affect the image badly. Now you can remove this or you can reduce the weight to decrease the effect of LoRa. I won't be using this LoRa for this video, but just to show you how this works. There you go. 0 0.4 weight is much better than 1. I will generate this image by adding different LoRa's to this same prompt to show you how a single LoRa can affect the image. So after messing around with the prompt and the settings for a while, here's what I got. Ultra black hole tech is the LoRa I decided to add in and I ended up with the control net start step being 0.28 and end being 0.85. Now it's time to run the video through D4. Let's run it. While it's generating, why don't you go down there and hit the subscribe button. Okay, the video is done now. I did change the control net tile weight to 1.75 to get more styling. Everything else was just the same. Let's have a look at the video. So yeah, that's basically what I do to apply more styles and change the character. I just use the tile control net, mess around with the start and end steps, change the weight if needed, and make sure to use multiple LoRa's in the prompts. I literally have around more than 200 LoRa's here, 278, so it's about to be 300. Now there are a few creators I follow whom I would recommend. Just follow these two guys. I'll leave the link in the description. I've used their LoRa's a lot. I guess that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions just let me know. Just mess around with different LoRa's. Change the control at weight, start and end steps. And I'm sure you'll get the kind of results I get. I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. And the next one is coming very soon, so be sure to subscribe.